I'm telling you what this, let me tell you something. Teleporting is more scriptural than that Christmas people want to celebrate one month from now. When I don't like to hear truth now. Only you want to go desert, I have to attack, I go kill you for saying I'm supposed to man lie too much. Me lie. All I want for Israel is what's best for Israel. Salvation, nothing less. I'm addressing the Apostle Suleiman video that everybody has been inboxing me to address. Initially, I wanted to stay away from this video for many reasons, but today, because I don't want people to see me as a coward. When I saw that video, I just saw it in passing and I left it. I started getting back to back DMs. Each time I go to my mentions, I was I'll be mentioned on one blog where that video is playing and and Daddy Freeze, you have to address it because it's your friend, you have to address it. Funny thing is, I've not spoken to Apostle Suleiman in like three weeks, two to three weeks. We've both had very busy schedules. And when I read, when I watched the video, I came to realize that we Nigerians are at a precarious place. You see, we're moving from over-spiritualization to under-spiritualization. Go with me to the book of Acts chapter 8. Go with me to Acts chapter 8. Let's read this together. Let's read this together. Acts chapter 8 verse 26. As for Philip, an angel of the Lord said to him, Go south down the desert road that runs from Jerusalem to Gaza. So he started out and he met the treasurer of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority, under the Kandake, the queen of Ethiopia. The eunuch had gone to Jerusalem to worship and he was now returning. Seated in his carriage, he was reading aloud from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Holy Spirit said to Peter, go over and walk beside the carriage. Philip ran over and heard the man reading from the prophet Isaiah. Philip asked him, do you understand what you're reading? The man replied, how can I unless someone instructs me? And he urged Philip to come up into the carriage and sit with him. The passage of scripture that he had been reading was this. He was like a sheep led to the slaughter and as a lamb is silent before the sharers, he did not open his mouth. He was humiliated and received no justice. Who can speak of his descendants? For his life was taken from the earth. The eunuch asked Philip, Tell me, who was the prophet talking about, himself or someone else? So beginning with the same scripture, Philip told him the good news about Yahushua. As they rode along, they came to some water, and the eunuch, eunuch said, Look, there's some water. Why can't I be baptized? So he ordered the carriage to stop, and they went down into the water, and Philip baptized him. When they came out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away. The eunuch never saw him again, but went on his way rejoicing. I want to read this to you in Greek. Acts chapter 8, verse 3. 39 Acts chapter 8 verse 39 If you have access to the original Greek scriptures please let's read this together The original lettering of that verse is Numa Kriu 
Herpesen ton Philippon. The Spirit of the Lord. Numa Kriu. Herpesen carried away ton Philippon. Carried away Philip. The Spirit of the Lord carried away Philip. Someone says, I go and follow you today. I respect you before, but today you won't whine yourself. Before you won't follow me, me, I go block you. Good. Anybody else have any issues with my teaching? Say quickly so I can have you blocked. Think I need your followership. I'm telling you what this. Let me tell you something. Teleporting is more scriptural than that Christmas you want to celebrate one month from now. When I don't like to hear truth now. I can give you a. I just gave you a scriptural evidence of teleporting. You give me, I put it to you, give me a scriptural evidence of Christmas. That if I'm going to mumu yourself up and down in the next few weeks, jump up and down like headless chickens. Give me one scripture that supports it. Or even Easter. As long as you see, that's why I said in my script, my, my, my profile says scripture teacher. I am not your science teacher. He said this is what happened. Do if I believe him, is it totally different? But that it is not scriptural. Is let me ask you a question. Is it because it was Suleiman that said it? If those your Jews, the other ones, say it. Won't all of you be shouting amen? You see, you've got to learn to get to a position where you have understanding of the scriptures. A lot of people were also saying that if he is there, there is evidence, there is evidence. Where is the evidence in, in the Philip own? Who had it as evidence? Are you, do you realize that even Christ's resurrection was countered by the Jews of that time till today? Only Christians. That's the premise of Christianity, that he resurrected. The Jews till today don't believe that he resurrected. Neither do the Muslims. And they have evidence because some soldiers were told to give a totally different narrative. Somebody says, please don't block. Let them. You don't air silliness as, as opinion on my page. That's not an opinion. The eunuch wasted that and never saw him again. Come on, guys. You see, you cannot... Let me read you another scripture. Hold on now, hold on. Uh -uh. Dude. You see, you people go and join Scientology last, last. <laughs> Someone said the apostles witnessed the resurrection. Nobody witnessed any resurrection. Which resurrection? Nobody witnessed it. Something that happened when, behind a tomb where there was a stone. Nobody witnessed any resurrection. The first person I heard of the resurrection, were the, the first set of people were the two Marys. And they were told by the angel. And they carried the narrative to the disciples. The disciples did not know anything. They were the last to hear. <laughs> Apostles came long, long. Then the elders of those days now took, told those soldiers, gave them money and told them to change the story. And up until today, that chain story is the dominating narrative. That's why so many people don't believe Christ resurrected. Now, here's the thing, yeah. Because you don't like somebody. He said something that is scriptural. And you doubt him. But guess what? The ones you like are going to lie to you about Christmas. They're going to tell you how it involves Christ. Meanwhile, it's, it's a festivity of pagan 
gods and goddesses, a festivity of the sun, the solstice of the sun and Saturnalia, all um, syncretized with uh, what Emperor Constantine brought from paganism into uh, Christianity. And then you will be wishing yourselves Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. <laughs> you see, let me tell you, eh? I gave up on Nigeria a long time ago. Nigerians will hate who they want to hate for no reason. And for the same reason, they will choose to love someone. For You wonder that, are these two people not doing the same thing? How do you choose to love someone for doing the same thing you choose to hate someone who does exactly the same thing? I have never. That is why you notice these days I just come, I just preach my message and I go. Whether you agree or not, teleporting is scriptural for Christianity. Philip teleported. Whether you agree or not, finish. Go and read Acts chapter 8. Whether you like it, whether you don't like it, whether you... Let me tell you something here. Eh? Just so that, and I put this, I want to be quoted, just so that people will not say I've collected 50 cobble from Apostle Suleiman. Apostle Suleiman never gave me birthday present before. Just so that it will be on record that I've never collected one naira from him. Now, there was an instance where somebody, um, and by the way, let me let you, I'm not a poor man, no. so I don't need anybody to bribe me. We need to be very careful with, with these narratives that we are selling simply because uh, we want, somebody said the context of uh, Philip's reporting is different from Suleiman's own. Tomato, tomato. He's teleporting. He's there. He's scriptural. Unless we are not Christians, then, okay, you know what? We are not going to believe what Suleiman said. And then we're also not going to believe the first African testimony of Christianity that came from the eunuch. Now, I don't care right now about Suleiman's personal life or whatever. That's his business and you people's business. But this particular doctrinal matter that is before us, I cannot come out and say he's lying. Because if I come out and say he's lying, I'm also saying Philip is lying. The testimony of Philip was also a lie. Oh, the testimony of Acts chapter 2 where everybody spoke different languages and everybody heard their languages. all lies. Oh, let me read this scripture to you. Hold on, hold on. Let's, let me read some more scriptures to you. Go with me. To the book of Acts chapter 16, and I'm reading from verse 22. A mob quickly formed against Paul and Silas, and the city officials ordered them to be stripped and beaten with wooden rods. They were severely beaten, and then they were thrown into prison. The jailer was ordered to make sure they didn't escape, so the jailer put them into the inner dungeon and clammed their feet in stalks. Around midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the other prisoners were listening. Suddenly, there was a massive earthquake, and the prison was shaken to its foundations. All the doors immediately flew open, and the chains of every single prisoner fell off. People, they pray, they sing. All of a sudden, earthquake happen. All of a sudden, everybody... They... You see, if you are using science mind, this doesn't make sense. Now, somebody said, yeah, Daddy Freeze, there was one geo that Kay said he resurrected a child and you were fighting him some years back. Let me tell you the context. The woman who brought the child said she was in the bus when the child died. And then... She said the bus conductor confirmed that the child was dead. 
do you know that before you can bury somebody you have to have what you call a coroner's report before somebody can be dead there has to be a doctor who certifies that person dead a bus conductor or a child's mother cannot certify the certify a child dead yes uh timaya um you are one young man uh, admired how god blessed but it's so painful how you have a lot of pride to bring you down uh, i know your career is dead young young boys see them they don't come up they don't pass you yeah, you know they're tiny way again. So you coming out to say Apostle Joseph Suleiman lied or lied too much. I understand. Uh, nobody say you it and don't get anything to do. Or maybe you get one thing. You know, we on a career one guy and the corner and say, oh, how will I trend now? So that people will know I'm still around. They say, you know, ah, just talk to Apostle Suleiman. You know, you talk to Apostle Suleiman, you will trend. You will trend. Now you do so, trend kill you there. You know, with your dead career. Idiots. You know they lie. You know they lie, but you get almost four, four different children from four different mothers. What you did tell this one? What did they tell you? What did they tell you? And no of their day has with you. You born for this woman, born for you, this one, 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 born for you. Now, when this Nollywood actress she say you be liar, they can't decide not to date you again. You you carry fight, go airport, go collect car, Ozo. Ozo. Go collect the car. See your life now. No, no, see your life. See, see who they come, they tell me, say, liar. You wait for women. I be more than four self. Now, don't you think I can't now? We know. Born bastard children. Yes, if you insult my father, I will insult you. I insult your children. Carry bastard children in the worker. Who even know that they are your children, self? You need to go do DNA. Say, Apostle John Slema, lie too much. Like, kill your head there. Idiot, you know, you see anybody talk to you. It's because now Apostle John C. Sule, man, I want to come out to come out. Tell you, we know, I might be this. I might be said because they say, Come and apologize. So, eh, or they'll come arrest you, or they'll come carry you go. No, I lie, I lie, Papa. No, no, man, I'm no, no, invite, I'm no touch, I'm no reply. I'm with what he want you to take cash and December don't near now. I will be back. So, in the mind. See party way because oh, it's a so much threatening you. Let's send you money, let's help you, let's assist you. Let now, don't mind if you look at cash out like that. You cash out for this matter, <laughs> you will not cash out one era for this matter. But what will we'll go do you and what will we'll go do you? We we'll go make sure say you, your this, this small change you get in hospital, you spend that put. Yeah, quit me your weapon, man. It can see, yeah, quit me your weapon. She said, I'm pursuing it, man. Now you want to talk to any of them. If I don't give you kidney problem, you know, say so they're not going to call me lion killer. You, you, all those are your children. All those are your children. Now you go to the go hospital from one hospital to one hospital from one. Watch your back, oh, because for that insulting way where you use for a person, just a silly man, eh? Life not be better for you again. They hear me so. Anything will make you happy if we hear and go spoil her. I mean, talker. I have been on the coy, I have been on the coy. Oh, I got my book book to one morning. I have a grown you when I am more time. I make pretty guy like me. Oh, my not to call me. I you go up. Only my money. Oh, I give what you get. Oh, I get back. I get you. I will meet up with the OCM. You will be. It's my. Oh, I send me. You will be. Now, surely my head. I go kill you. All your investment. You never start to. You go sell your property. You go sell the one where you buy. Your music you gonna sing, I go they use less for people here. Say na la, na la, na la, na la. Your first album where you they sing before we they talk. Your first album. Everything you sing for that album not be a lie. Like you will be king of liar. Everything you sing for the album. Your first album on a lie. You will be king of liar and command. You have the in front to you know you don't know who see eh, una, see on a gallock now gallock 
So the man quiet now. Now make run the user until the cash shot till they do one who who you think don't die will come and blow. Who who don't they die will come and come and say that the man want make and die. You now you want start. Go see this idiot when Muri pay uh, portable. At you see at you see as he, he carry the door door reduce. He come down, he press, he press. You don't know what he make and press. Go and ask. Press. You this you when your this your old age now when be say you gonna try make the thing where you don't say you best make you eat her. You want to treat sickness. You want to, I don't tell me you apologize so, but I thought I will kill you, Timaya. Yes. You Timaya, you you know die where ah 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 wale ke we wu yi i mean you know they know before they will call ah three days they say he has been he has been here for three days he has been dead for three days he said only you want to go dead a heart attack and i go kill you for saying i'm supposed to see the man lie too much me like kill your head god punish your generation if i catch you anywhere near bini whether you did drive pass or if i catch you i will tell me they beat you that they will beat you Blue and black for that word when you talk. Talk another one. Oh. No, make sure say you don't stop there because since you want trend, I'll tell the old bloggers now. May they help me push you come out because your name no there on social media. Okay? So you need to read now. We go, we go give you blogging. What young what born idiot. For those that are not aware, there was a time Apostle Johnson Suleiman came out and he made a testimony of one of the of one of his members that went to an airport and god instructed him according to what he said he said god instructed him to enter the jamming toilet and as he and as he prayed after praying he find himself walking out of france toilet meaning he teleported or he disappeared so that is the video that as we watch that the freeze is talking about now everyone since the video came outside a lot of people has been saying this man is lying that is not possible this is not possible a lot of things like that and um i miss all this just as we've watched the video that the freeze came out and said what our post Jonathan suleiman said it is true and is right and he even gave a scriptural a scriptural backing which is said which is said in the book of Acts chapter 2. well if we are to look at it from that angle, truly, Apostle Philip teleported in the Bible. There was a, it was recorded in, in the Bible that because Philip is an evangelist, so while he was going, after he was done teaching that man the Bible, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit took him and he disappeared from where he was and the man did not see him again and he appeared in a different town entirely meaning it teleported well that's true the fact there is that there is nothing there is no possibility in jesus christ there is i mean there is no there is nothing impossible in jesus christ there is nothing impossible in this kingdom there is nothing god cannot do no one is saying no one is saying that um it's not possible it can happen the bible says with god all things are possible all things are possible anything can happen no one is saying it cannot happen but the level of how pastors lie in this country the level of our pastors tell lies the level of our man of god people that call themselves men of god tell lies the level of how they defy the pulpit these days has made it so difficult for anyone to believe anything anymore so as made it so difficult has made it so difficult for anyone to believe anything anymore so if if a pastor comes up now and say this and say that before you see people believing it it will take a, it will take a long time it is no one's fault it is no one's fault and i'm not saying this i'm i'm not saying this because um what that the is saying is right i'm not saying it's right and i'm not saying it's wrong no what i'm saying is that the level of lies that pastors keep telling these days has made it so difficult for people to 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 believe testimony anymore i've made it so difficult for people to believe anything that comes out of any pastor's mouth anymore 
it's no one's fault. It is the it is the level that these pastors that these pastors has degraded themselves to. That's the problem. That's the problem. So people find it out these days to believe whatever any man of God says again, because there has been too much lies, too much lies, too much lies, and it's so unfortunate. When you find out that pastor is lying, a man of God is telling lie. If a, if a man of God tells lie, such a man of God is not just lying for himself alone. He is misleading, he is misleading millions of people because there are people that are following him. Now, the issue of Apostle Kasichuku that, that was laying course on Timaya, as we watch the video, now, this man claimed to be an apostle, just as we've, we've seen it. The man laying cause on Timaya because Timaya said that Apostle Johnson Suleiman is telling lie. So, this man, this man took it to himself <laughs> and began to lay cause, every cause on Timaya. This is what we are saying. These are people that call themselves men of God, laying every cause on someone that is only trying, that is only giving at his own opinion. I mean, everyone has their own opinion. Everyone has their own opinion. So, Timaya was only giving out his opinion. What he thought. So, according to him, all what Johnson Suleiman was saying is a lie. So, I can come up also one day and say, okay, all what he's saying is it, all what he's saying is true. I mean, everyone has everyone has the right to say whatever whatever they want. So, I don't think that 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 should give a man of God, a whole man of God. Someone that claims to be a man of God. This man claims to be an apostle. I don't know. I, I, I don't think that's, that's, that give a man of God the right to now start laying course, every course on such a person. These people, what are they, what example are they laying down for their members? What example are they laying down for their congregations? What example are they laying down for their followers? What example are they laying down for 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 those that are following them, because they be church.